Today I'm showing you how I clean off my blackstone after I get done cooking on it. So what you'll need are some tongs, a little scraper, some oil, water, and a paper towel. So what I do is I turn my burners to low after I get done cooking on it and I go ahead and scrape off all the food and put it into the little drip tray. I feel like everyone is so intimidated by blackstones because they think the cleaning and the upkeep is really hard, but honestly, it's not that hard, you guys. Next, I'll just put some water on top and this makes sure that everything comes off of the griddle. I've had a lot of people tell me not to put water on the blackstone, but if you go to TikTok and you search blackstone, TikTok. They literally have a video showing you how to clean it off and they use water. Next, you're just going to turn off your burners and then I like to go in with a paper towel and just make sure all of the water is off and just give it a nice clean sweep. And the last step of this is to go in with some oil and add it on the top and I take it and put it on the sides as well. Be generous. You're not going to put too much. Just make sure it's fully coated. I get a lot of questions about the oil that I use and I like to use avocado oil. That's just what works best for me. And that is it. That is how I clean off my blackstone and get it ready for my next cook. This whole process took me four minutes. 